can even make me miscarry, miscarry pregnancy. Sometimes two weeks, sometimes the pregnancy will stay for like two months and pregnancy will drop. I've lost pregnancy up to three times. The prophetess now said, after she did her prayers, that she found out that me, I'm not the right full wife of my husband. That she's the one her own God showed that she's the rightful wife to my own husband that I'm still married to. What's up, guys? Is your girl Neye baby? So, guys, today I have this lady here. You are married, right? Yes, so. Okay, so she's a married woman. She has something she wants to share with my audience. She said she needs to speak out for people to advise her, give her um, their opinion on this particular problem now. Okay, so not mention your name, ma. Just go straight with your story. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Hmm. You will help me because I don't know what to do. Ever since I married my husband, it has been beating, beating, beating upon beating I've been receiving. There's no day. No day that passes by without me receiving beating. To the extent, I have one neighbor. She's the one that used to rescue me from my husband is the one who beat me for no reason. He just find one thing to beat me. Maybe he soup that I did not prepare, but no salt he will beat me. Maybe I did not wake up on time or I did not sweep. Or maybe I never prepare early so we go to church he will beat me. With every little provocation, he uses it to beat me. I still held on to the marriage. From the beginning, no. from the beginning of the marriage, it has been beating, beating. This is my neighbor. She would rescue me. Sometimes she would take me to the hospital. They would beat me and I would, I would wake up inside the hospital. I would be beaten to the extent that I would, I would faint. So one day, this is my neighbor. She's my friend also. She went to the police station and reported my husband. Before he, she would come back from that police station, my husband, after beating me, he now told the woman's husband. He warned, her, warned the husband seriously that if the woman comes into our house again, that's what she would, he would do to the woman. She would, he, and my own husband would not like it. So the husband warned his wife. After that day, the woman stopped coming to our house again. That the man said, no matter what he hears, no matter how they beat me, he should not say anything. Continue enjoying beating. People are enjoying peace of mind in their husband's house. Me, it's, it's beating. Beating, beating upon beating. For every little provocation I will get, beating will follow. And this, my husband, is a spiritual man. What is Papa in church? Spiritual giant. And we have this prophetess in our church. We used to go there and seek counsel. I went to the woman. In fact, it was me and my husband that even went there. When we got there, the woman said, eh, I should be praying. That is prayer that will solve everything. I said, okay, I'll, I'll still go back home. I will pray. Then my husband will still beat me. Beat me and even makes me miscarry, miscarry pregnancy. Sometimes two weeks, sometimes the pregnancy will stay for like two months and pregnancy will drop. I've lost pregnancy up to three times. And so the last one, which is the fourth pregnancy, when my mother discovered, she now said, oh yeah, come to the village now. Come and stay with us at least so that this child will stay. I did not tell my husband though, I was still worried. How will I leave my husband's house and then go to my mother's place because I'm pregnant? I, my mother is supposed to come and stay with me. Then I told this about her prophetess in church and she agreed. She said, eh, go, go there so that at least you have rest of mind. Your husband will not be beating you. And then I will take your husband to the mountain and they will conduct prayer. Me, I was happy. At least if you go to the mountain, there will be peace in my home. Unity, progress will start coming in. Maybe the beating will reduce. I don't even want, maybe if the beating don't even want to, don't want to completely stop beating me, at least the beating should reduce because I'm not punching back. If my husband is beating me here, he does not care where he's beating. Even as my head though, is my nose, is my eye, we just hit anywhere. Uh, even hospitals, they are even tired. So since the prophet says, go home, she said, go to your mother's place and rest. I said, okay. Let me go. There's, I have a shop. And so the lady that I kept there, she's a small girl, a teenager. I left her in the shop. She lives in the house sometimes. She, too, she used to see all these things that happens. But she doesn't stay permanently in my house. I told her to move out 
Because me, I'll be going to the village. I will stay there till I put to bed. And I was already three months gone on the pregnancy. So I just told her to move out of the house. And now I went to the village. And this is our prophetess. She's not married. And she said she would take my husband for prayers on the mountain. I agreed. I want peace. I want peace in my home. So I went to my mother's place, stayed there. From that three months or nine months, I put to bed. I gave it to a ba baby boy. So still in that village, one year, one year going. My husband did not call. He did not check up on us. No feeding money. I was, I was so worried. Uh -uh. I did this prayer did not work. What is happening? And the number my husband had, uh, the number I know, he has already blocked me. I couldn't reach him. I couldn't reach his friends. I was so worried and I just didn't want to go back to Lagos. So one day, um, that's my girl that I told to move out of the house. Since me, I will not be in the house again. She now called me. I, I was surprised, but I was, I, was, I was worried. I was also anxious that, why is she calling me? Maybe she has good news for me. She now told me that, ah, auntie, have you heard? Uncle's wedding card is out, though. I said, ah, wedding card. Your husband? My, well, my husband's wedding card is out. But we're already married. We've done our marriage. Which wedding card again? She now told me, you better be coming back to Lagos. So, so my child now, I'm going to one here, my son. I, pick, we, I took him and said, mm. Since my husband refused to come and do what he's supposed to do as a husband, and I'm hearing that he has he, he has brought a wedding card, let me go to that Lagos and see what is happening for myself. The prophetess too, she did not call me. I was wondering what is happening. So on getting to the house, because they did not change the apartment, thank God, but he really changed his phone number, I could not reach him. When I got to the house, shock of my life. At first, the first thing that welcomed me was a frame frame of my husband and the prophetess in the living room there are pictures together as husband and wife then i saw the woman in the living room and my husband came in uh -uh. my husband didn't even he, he didn't even didn't even do as if he knew me he just looked at me from head to toe east and went to sit down uh -uh. what is happening i shall agree tell them and the prophetess said welcome I was not asking my husband and the prophet. I thought you said you were going to mountain. I've been waiting for you. You did not call me. Do not call me. Prophetess too, do not call. The prophetess now said, after she did her prayers, that she found out that me, I'm not the rightful wife of my husband. That she's the one her own God showed that she's the rightful wife to my own husband that I'm still married to. Hmm. I was so shocked. And I said, eh, hey. ha, God, I don't know where to start from. I don't even know what to do. Yeah, I was standing just as if the ground should open and swallow me. So you, you are the rightful wife to my own husband that I'm still married to. It's not as if any of us is dead. My husband did not open his mouth to say, Pim, he was just looking away from me. He did not even acknowledge that I came with a child to know whose child is this. Now, yeah, please, I need your help I, because I don't even understand what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do at all. Please, I need your help. That's why I'm here. Hmm. So he did not look for you when you leave the house? He did not look for me one day. Even the feeding money, at least if a man is far from his wife, if he cannot come, he will give feeding money. Feeding money did not send, upkeep, cause I tried calling him, his number, he blocked me. Or maybe he changed the SIM, I don't know, but I couldn't reach him. I just thank God that the house that we were living together, he did not change it. Or else how would I have even located him? And this my husband, eh? Someone that was following me up and down. While I was still single, while I was still a single girl. He was chasing me everywhere. Like I gave him a hard chase before I accepted him. After acceptance, we got married, we were building life together, doing things like a normal couple should. All of a sudden, it just turned me into a punching bag. And this is someone that is such a spiritually inclined person. They will call him Papa in church, pastor. He's not a pastor, but the way he used to comport himself in church, he's a very different human being in the house. And who would I run to today? The prophetess that I was even talking to, thinking that she's a, she's a human being. 
Only if I had known. The prophetess is now married to your husband. She's now married to him. And at that time, she was not even married. I would have calculated. But I didn't know. This I woman didn't. just pushed you out. What do you even want me to say? But the fact that your husband was beating you. She was beating me and she did not even say anything. Instead, she would be like, go and pray. I will talk to your husband. And the woman never talked to my husband in my presence. She used to talk to your husband um, when you are not around? Yes, like she would summon him or she would tell me to wait for, for them outside and only them know what they were doing at that time. Yeah, I thought it was cancel. After canceling, because when we cancel like that, if we go home one day, two days, you'll be acting normal. Before you know it, we start again with the beating. So it needs to surprise me. What is happening? Hmm. Now, wow. Guys, this one, eh? You get a zibio. But instead of you to be there and this man will be beating you, is it not better for you? You look for something doing. Oh, yeah, now maybe they enjoy the prophetess. If only he will be treating the prophetess the way he treated you. But we're still married. Abi, if you want Did to you tell your mom this thing? <laughs> I've not told her because... For good two years, going to two years, this man did not look for you. He did not look for me. My mommy is aware of that. I'll... This man did not love you. No, not, no, no sign that this man loves you. No love. Even, even his own child, he didn't even bother to look for it. Ah. Oh, wow. Hmm. Check it now. Oh, what do you want to do? You still want to marry him? I think the problem is that prophetess. Because I don't know what she has done to my husband. I said it before that my husband was such a loving person before I married him. And while we were growing life together, he was okay. After this man hit it big, life changed. Okay, he made money, life changed. Yes. So me, I was thinking maybe stress, depression, I was looking for where to throw the anger on and all of all those things. I'll be bearing and bearing. Every day the thing kept on increasing, beating, little provocation. <laughs> it became like a dream to me. I just don't understand until this moment now that he has gotten married to the same prophetess that we said was cancelling her or cancelling him. Hey. Oh, wow. My worry, I don't even understand, but my worry is why we were still struggling as young couples. My husband always talks about this prophetess. And it was through this prophetess that he made money through prayers, according to them, or because me, I was not there. But I, that's why I gave her that respect, because it was through, through the prophetess, through her prayers, through her guidance, that my husband became wealthy all of a sudden. He hit it big. So I give her that respect. But this one now that she has done. Okay, she was the person that made your husband rich. That helped your husband yes, to be rich. Who helped him? Yes. How? How? Through spiritual prayers now, because we'll, my husband will go there for prayers in the night. They'll go for prayers in the afternoon. Maybe they'll go to the mountain. All those things. That was how she was guiding him. She would tell him what to do, what not to do. He was always talking about her, always talking good of how this prophetess helped him. But once he, when he just made this money, life changed for me. And the respect that I had for her, now that I'm seeing her in my own house with my own husband, I'm confused. The respect going, it has, it has reduced to nothing. Hmm. Oh, wow. Hey, hey, you just shocked me now that this prophetess, the same prophetess, was the person that helped your husband to have money. Are you sure it's real money? Are you sure God is not, God, you know, uh, better run, oh, if no be good money, oh, no go involve yourself. And you to be very, very prayerful. Meet a strong man of God. Get a very strong man of God to pray for you. You need deliverance. If the money is not genuine, let them carry that one with their head. Oh, you said all of a sudden he made that money. Yes, yes. And but it's not as if he was lazy. He's a businessman, so he's always doing his business. It's just that business was not moving well booming. before. Yes, it was not booming as... It just did. You know how business is now. One day down, another day becomes multiple profit. So that's what me I thought it was. And you know that if you pray to God, God would answer. But this woman was the guide. She was the guide for him. That's why everything now started moving well. So, but yes, that's why I respected her. And everything that was happening in our home, I was always telling her. But the only thing that she told me was, go and be praying. I will talk to your husband. But you will not talk to my husband in my presence. It's always an issue. Okay, guys, so please, what do you think? Advice her. Huh? Please help me share this video as well. What do you think that she should do? Because me now, I don't understand. But still, since the man is beating you seriously like this, 
take care of your child. Take care of that, your boy, for the moment. And keep praying to God. You need deliverance first to know that there is, this is your body and nothing attached to it. You need to pray to God. Go for deliverance. Start taking care of your child for the moment. Calm yourself. Then everything is going to be fine. All right. Thanks for watching this video, guys.